First sentence blows me away. Ryan Coogler became the first black director to make a billion dollar grossing movie when Marvel's Black Panther broke box office records back in 2018. Now he's back with one of the most highly anticipated films of the year, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. He directed and co-wrote the sequel. And this time, the people of Wakanda, a fictional African nation, are fighting to defend their country from outside forces in the wake of the death of their protector, the Black Panther. This film introduces us to the iconic comic book character Namor to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's the antagonist in this movie and leader of an underwater kingdom. This is a clip. My mother told stories about a place like this, a protected land with people that never have to leave, that never have to change who they were. What reason do you have to reveal your secret to the world? I am not a woman who enjoys repeating herself. Who? Are you? I have many names. My people call me Ahkukunkan. But my enemies call me Namor. Call me Namor. Early reviews are calling Black Panther Wakanda forever. One of Marvel's, listen to this, best movies ever. That's saying something, girl. That's saying That's something. That's saying a whole lot. Ryan Coogler, hello, best movie ever. It's so good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Ryan, yeah. you must, I wonder how you're feeling. If you're feeling, and what was your process in writing the sequel? Because you had to change it up, certainly, after the death of Chadwick. What was your process and your strategy in making this? Because did you feel a lot of pressure? Absolutely. Um, felt a, a ton of pressure. Even when we signed on to do it again, um, we were excited, but but felt it felt a little different from the first time because people knew what, what to expect a little bit, and, yes. and, and um, expectations were a little higher. Whereas when we released the first one, people didn't really have expectations at all. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but with, with, with Chadwick's tragic passing, um, things got different. Uh, it, uh, it, it was uh, I was in a unique space. Uh, I had written a, a, a full script um, before he passed away. That was starring starring him, and, and was was very much about his character. Right. Mm. And um and I had never been in that position to, to to write a script and not be able to go make it. You know mm. um uh and, and so I was, I was grieving grieving him as a friend, grieving uh my lead actor um, and creative partner. Uh, but also grieving all, all of these ideas that, that, that we that have poured ourselves planned. into. And then you're in Los Angeles. The premiere was fantastic. Just watching the red carpet and the actors' reactions, and Angela said, you know, our hearts did right by Chadwick. What was it like for you at that premiere without him? That's a great question, Gail. Um, the, the premiere was, was more emotional than I expected it to be. Really? How uh, so? Well, we had been kind of... In a, in a way, we had been keeping keeping him alive by working on the film, and and, and mm. when the film was was ours, you know, it was our, our special thing, um, and it hit me. It hit me like like as it rolled and as it finished, that that I wouldn't. I, I felt like I wouldn't be able to work with him again. You know, um, it felt it felt final. The reality. It, really. it felt final in a way that I didn't that I didn't ex ex expect. But but I mean, at, at the same time, um, I, I know we put our all into it. I think it, I think it's a movie that he. He, he would enjoy, he would like, you know, is, yeah. Is it yeah. true that you thought about quitting filmmaking after his death? Yeah, like, Did it, it cross it's, your mind? It's, it's true, but it was it was um, during the shock of it all. Yeah, you know, um, of course. Because uh, when he when he passed, he hadn't told, he only, he'd only told a few people what was going on. And, so you didn't know when you were waking the first one that he was ill? No, I, 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 there, there were signs that, that there was a, a health issue, you know, um, and in retrospect, hindsight, a lot of things like made made sense, mm. yeah. um, but but you gotta understand that dude was incredibly strong. You know, mm. um, he was battling that disease since I since I knew him, which mm. was which was several years. You know, mm. and uh, uh, it, it it really it really the Black Panther family like like that's a it was chosen family. Mm. You know, um, um, it was a unique film, and, and and he didn't tell any of us. You know, and, and, I, and he was very intentional. Chad was very intentional with information. Of course. Um, so I think by not telling us, he was telling us something. Mm. If that makes sense. In the first Black Panther, there was a lot of gray area in terms of who was right and who was wrong on various <laughs> things. And, and there is, I, I understand, in this movie as well. So I don't know if, if Namor is the villain, the bad guy, the antagonist, or what. Yeah, but I, tell me what you what you were thinking in trying to create that character. Yeah, yeah. My, my co-writer, Joe Robert Cole, and I, we would refer to him as an antagonist, you know, um, just, just in that screenwriting language, uh, you know, and an antagonist is just somebody who challenges your protagonist. You know, um, uh, like uh, it, it, it's not right to call him a, a villain. And even in the comic books, Namor is uh, more of an anti-hero. You know, 
Um, and, and some stories he can be the hero, some stories he can be the villain, depending right. on the perspective. Um, but 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 for this, he, he's definitely an, an antagonist. And he, and he calling him anything else would be a little strange. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk about Rihanna. You, we can't even say why Rihanna, because it's Rihanna. But beyond that, <laughs> what, what was your pitch to her? Because you reached out to yeah. her, I'm told personally. What was your pitch? <sighs> yeah, I, I, I think um, she has a lot of great people around. You know, um, um, Jay Brown, especially yes. one of the partners at, at Rock Nation. Yeah. Um, and, and it was really you know, talking to the folks around her, because she was in a position where her life was changing. She was becoming a mom, and um, and she kind of had a phalanx of folks, you know, mm -hmm. that she trusted, yeah. who, who we were who we were in constant communication with, and then they would go communicate with her. Um, and I think the trailer is what spoke to her the most. Um, she kind of saw the performances that the actors were putting down and, and what the tone was, heard that beautiful music by Tim's mixed with Kendrick. And, um, and then she, you know, and, and it timed up with her you know, coming into the space where she was ready to engage yeah. with the world musically yeah. again. And then we had a couple conversations and it was just, it was just great. It was done. Um, Brian, yeah. we talked shortly after Fruitville Station before Creed. Yeah. This was years ago. Yes, sir. We were at, at the beginning of starting new chapters yeah. in our life. Yes, sir. <laughs> a lot has changed for you. Yeah. And rightfully so, congratulations. How are you dealing with who you are now? Because success is coming in waves and more is to come. I mean, that's external, right, Nate? Like, like, like what you do professionally or how people view you from what you're doing professionally, like the, the internal has been the same. Yeah. You know, I'm blessed to have an um, incredible wife, you know, incredible parents, brothers, and, and friends that I've worked with that knew me before all of this. Yeah, and you know, two children now, yeah, yeah. True, yeah, uh -huh. but, but, but the, the truth of it is, is like, I'm blessed to have that, 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 that family around me, and even my yeah. chosen family, you know, like, like, like Black yeah. Panther, um, the family that I inherited through the work, uh, uh, and they treat me, they treat me the, the same. So, so it feels like not, not, not much has changed. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Well, listen, we appreciate you joining yeah, thank us. Thank you very much. Congratulations. A, a lot has changed, and it's just, it's really just getting started. It's just getting started. At 36, Ryan Coogler. <laughs> the great Ryan Coogler. Thank you so That's much. Right. Black Panther, right. Wakanda forever. forever. It's theaters on November 11th.